Hello, Mustafa's Movie Corner here. And today, finally, I will be doing my very last collection video. Or I should say right now, as for my very last movie company collection video that I will be doing right now. And this is going to be my rest of my VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray collection. Um, I know there was um, Thomas and Friends VHS tapes that have not been showing my rest of my movie company collection videos, but I didn't feel like showing them. Well, at least if I already have, if y'all may win numbered, like as for my Lyric Studios and Hit Entertainment VHS collection, but really, um, for some of the Thomas and Friends VHS tapes, including the DVDs that have not been showing my movie company collection videos, like as for this one right here, um, I didn't feel like including my Thomas and Friends tapes and DVDs in this collection video. I just didn't feel like doing it. And also, there was going to be DVDs and Blu-rays that I forgot, completely forgot to show in my 20th Century Fox, Universal, MGM, and Paramount collection, which I completely forgot because I wasn't quite paying attention to see if any of those stuff that I forgot or not. Like, for those of you that you have already have known. But then if not, then we we'll might get into it momentarily. But right now, I'm just gonna just show you some stuff right now, like as you can see. So, let's not waste any more no time. Let's begin my very last movie company collection video right now. I'm gonna get this done right now as soon as possible. So, here we go. This one has Anchor Bay on the case. However, it doesn't feature it on the tape. No print date. And this tape is actually um, damaged, but not too bad, but it is still kind of damaged. So, yeah. This is the only movie that I have. Um, I do not have the sequel and three and the fourth movies all the time because I've been wanting to get these, like, which are in American USA copies, rather than Canadian, which from Alanis Atlantis. But but now I I regret on getting those Alanis Atlantis speeches tapes. And if I either come across with Spy Kids. Two or three, like which one? Alanis Atlantis. I might as well um, pick up, pick them up. Although I wanted to get in American USA copies, but I feel like regretting and getting the sequel, which from Alanis Atlantis. So if I come across like for me, um, Five Village or the Sovereign Army Chip Store, um, I might as well um go ahead and pick it up. And that way, I'll have the movie like for the collection since this is the only one I have. Coach number 71 out of 500. If I didn't find a third movie, like which from Alliance Atlantis, like since because I don't know if that third movie was from this logo or not, um. If I didn't find it, then I may have to as well come across by ordering the third movie, like which 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 from Dimension, um, off of eBay or Amazon. So yeah, we are now beginning to heading to four new line tapes. Oh, oh excuse me. My very first new line tape with the vertical ink label. No print date. The rest of the three are just Wegler ink labels. Ooh. 
I messed this one up. September 2nd, 1998. I really like the design of this case. Look at this. You noticed? Yeah. Very shiny. Pretty cool, huh? Ah. Oh. Print date is October 4th, 2004. Last new, new line tape. December 14th, 2004, even though this is a 2005 VHS, although the movie's from 2004. This next one is extremely rarest of, um, of all time. Because this VHS is from 2006. This one has a cool stick label so you can see. September 21st, 2006. Alright, and now next up, um, those... The next eight tapes are Mr. Bean tapes. I really like Mr. Bean a lot. Very funny and hilarious. October 29th, 1997. This also includes the bonus short, um, the bus stop. Hmm. Ooh, if I haven't really said so, I'm like, as for this tape, this tape also includes the bonus short, the library. Right. I knew if I forgot to mention this. January 25th, 96. September 2nd, Night Side 8. So this is a reprint containing Microsoft Vision logo at the beginning. I don't know. Because I can't even remember. Same thing for this next tape right here, so you can see right now. All Mr. Bean tapes that I'm showing them to you all right now, um, the tops are usually as always blank. 
except for this one right here, which we'll get into to that momentarily. November 1st, 98. February 24th, 9th size 6. I've just completed my Mr. Bean tapes a while ago, if y'all may were numbered. Because of all of the episodes from 1990 until 95. So, I have them all complete for the collection. Hmm. Hmm. No print date on this tape. Um, unfortunately, this tape has actually tracking issues um it has static noises on it which i might as well have to get another copy um next time like um for sure like if hopefully i could come across it like from any chip stores of course for this one the top wasn't blank see Top wasn't blank on this one. December 18th, 1997. Here is the last Mr. Bean tape. This was originally from the gift box, like which they, which that comes with a box set, which I don't know how this ended up without a box set. Like, did I find it like from a trip start? Like if it has Mr. B like on the other spine. Ooh. My apologies. I did not mean to drop the tape like that. So as uh, for somebody like who hasn't who who wasn't who doesn't want like any of these B test tapes like which from the box sets like anymore like have decided like to give one of other away and don't need like to the other chip store while keeping the other two like which from the box set or something. So yeah. Hmm. No print day once again. Continuing on. Now, as you can see, the case has Hallmark Home Entertainment and it even has the the original copyright update like as you can see um night size seven but look at this this one's a reprint because it's got artisan home entertainment logo logo on it and it even says to bust and sue so this is definitely a reprint but however that's not all because it also contains free print dates like which they recycle tape just like Clifford the Big Red Dog Clifford Schoolhouse hold on there we go October 
27th to Busted 2, and November 8th to Busted 2, and the um, 39th week of 1999. This still contains the original 1997 content. Here's another Hallmark tape. Oh, I thought the top side, top side, top side upside down, but no. Mess this one up again. Print date. The um, 10th week of 1997. And it's got this RVS right there. So, um, I'm guessing like this is probably recycled from the 20th Century Fox tape. Same as for Clifford the Big Red Dog, Clifford Schoolhouse. Hmm. And as for the Call of the Wild, hmm. Wait, let me check and see if this tape was recycled from the 20th Century Fox tape. Nope, it just says DLX right here. So, not recycled from 20th Century Fox tape, but this one and Clifford Schoolhouse tapes, um, they're both recycled from 20th Century Fox tapes. So, yeah. And now next are those two Arian home video tapes. There's a name on the case you can see, but this is still now my tape. This one has red lead, which is pretty cool. May 29th, 1996. And another and the last Arian home videotape. Don't see a name on the case, so I bet this tape is still mine, of course. Also has red lid. However, the print date for this is... Oh, it's on. Wait. Let's see if this light can focus on it. Hold on. Ah, January 10th, 1997. So it's just a little hard for me to see. This is from Cloud 10 Pictures and Namesake Entertainment. November 13th, 2000. Here's another Alinus Atlantis tape. I bought this from Valley Village if y'all may were numbered. That's how am I going to start increasing Alinus Atlantis tapes for the collection. Which I do know, sack tombs and features collector back. Backs up, back up, and Fabian's Media Corner 2001 has more Alanis Atlantis tapes than ever. So, yeah. And I'm actually do hoping to find another Austin Powers movie. Well, if hopefully I, if hopefully if I can come across another one like which from the trip store, like. From Vi Village or the Salvation Army Chip Store to be exact. Huh. 
I think this one doesn't have a print date, right? Well, let me check. Yep, no print date. Because I had this tape for quite some time. Alrighty then. Now next up, I'm going to begin with those. Hold on. Nine VeggieTales Speed Chess Tapes. So the first two are from Everland Entertainment. And this is one of them right now. I also do have the regular Ward Entertainment features of this, which we'll get into that momentarily. Or in a second, I should say right now. No print date on this one. But this one actually does have a print date, but... It's very faded. You all have just seen the print date on this one if y'all made with number 12, although it could be a little faded. Hmm. If I can't find a print date to read for you all, then sorry. Like, hold on, I'm just gonna move it to the light to see if I can find it. Hold on, wait just a second. Hmm. I'm not so sure if I'm right or not for you all to see, but I believe the print date for this one is December 26, 2001. I can't be wrong though still, but it's what it is, what it is. Ha. Ah. There we go. It's just a little hard to get out of the case or get it in the case that I should say right now. This one is from Chore Dance Distribution Group. There was a name on the case you can see with Trust Peck, but this tape is still mine. Hmm. October 27th, 2002. Print date is July 7th, 1999. September 12, 2000. Um, last time, if before I was rewinding to the rewinding this tape up to the beginning, um, I narrowly um checked the tape to see if it was damaged, and sure enough, um, it is. But it wasn't damaged like the film strip even more. But when I tested out this tape, it turned out to be damaged, and it and it even um, stopped the tape. Um, if I tried to test it in like a twice a time like yep it nearly stopped the tape since the, the tape was actually damaged right at the middle part so I might as well have to look for another copy of this tape which is from Ward Entertainment but I also do have the Warner Home video features of this
September 11th, 2004. All right, here's another copy of Dave and the Giant Pickle. This is from Wiggler Ward Entertainment. As you can see, right there. This y'all cannot see, but it's January 21st, 2004. This I cannot read you all the print dates. Look how it got faded. Yep, I cannot read you all it. I apologize. Alrighty then, here's the last Veggie Tales tape. September 14th, 2005. Alrighty then. And now the next two are Lionsgate Home Entertainment that we're going to be showing this video. The next two tapes to be exact. Print dates are March 10th, 2003 and March 24th, 2003. Another Lionsgate Home Entertainment tape. This is another one of the sticker label. Just like Wind River, as I already showed you in a while ago. May 25th, 2002, and June 4th, 2002. Now, next two are Video Treasures tapes. No print date. But this one does have a print date. This is from Anchor Bay, so you can see which apparently the logo wasn't showing on the tape. Like, I don't know if 
it was shown at the end or not. The print dates are the 269th day of 97 and the 272 day of 97. So this tape took three days to print. All right, and now here's the last but not at least the VHS tape. Oh man, great, everything had fell. Alrighty then, last one. This is a Walt Disney movie, which from Anchor Bay, which I find that pretty weird. But oh well, it's what it is, what it is. Nope. Ha. Huh. Great. Looks like I have not noticed this until now. There is some mold on the tape as you can see. Oh, man. Looks like I did not realize this until now. Because I think if I remember, like, if I've gotten this tape, like, from the trip store, looks like there wasn't any mold, but until for now. Oh, great. Looks like I'm apparently going to have to buy myself another copy of this tape. That's just great. More features tapes that I have that has mold. Apparently the counting that the other one I have is the four feathers. Like the one I could try already have still if y'all remember correctly. Alrighty then. And now we're going to be heading for the DVDs. Um... For those um, free DVDs, like which y'all can see, um, I completely forgot to show in one of my last movie company collection videos. But then if not, like I said, we'll get into it momentarily. This one I completely have all this time. Um, I did used to lost this DVD, but not anymore since if I finally have it back. Okay, and now for this next DVD. This one I definitely forgot to show in my 20th Century Fox DVD and Blu-ray collection, which I have not realized until now. And here it is. I also have this one for you just from New Line Home Entertainment, which I've already showed you all that one in a while ago, if y'all remembered. Alright. And now, here's the DVD that I have forgot to show you all in my Universal DVD and Blu-ray collection. I also do have another one which I also completely forgot, which we'll get into that momentarily. I haven't watched this one yet, but hopefully tomorrow or for sure I can watch this movie. I don't know. Hopefully I might as well have the time. If not, then I might as well have to watch it on Friday. Or it could be either the weekend. Or I might as well let y'all know in the Facebook post. So yeah. Alright. And now this next DVD. This one I forgot to show you all. 
in my MGM VHS DVD collection. And apparently, Dale Adams has reminded me about this before the collection video begins, which if y'all remembered. So, thanks to Dale Adams who has reminded me that I forgot to show this. I keep forgetting to check and show if I forget these movies or not. I wasn't really that quite focused that much. Because apparently that, like, which I didn't realize, which I, if that was enough or not, which I did not realize. And, yep, it happened to me. And this is what I get. Um, if for those of you all think, if any more of those DVDs that I've, Completely forgot to show if any more of my if any of those of my more um movie company collection videos um please let me know down in the comments and then I would really appreciate to sh do in the next video that I might as well forgot to show one of these DVDs in my movie company collection videos. So yeah. This was co-produced by Paramount Pictures. This DVD is a former rental from Hollywood Video. Here is the last DVD. It's got this almost the inside like of the artwork like of the case like as you can see right now. That's cool. All right. And now we're going to be hitting into the blue race right now. I know VHS Collector Backup doesn't want to get the Canadian version of this, which is the only American copy like which she was wanting to get. There we go. Alright. This Blu-ray right here. This one I also forgot to show you all. In my Universal DVD and Blu-ray collection. And here it is. Once again. go and clean the DVD all right I 
I checked the DVD before my Warner Brothers Blu-ray collection and as it turns out this is not from one of home video so I didn't show in my Warner Brothers Blu-ray collection but this collection video since the movie is from Anchor Bay but Warner Home Video has however took over by that sequel of that movie I'm pretty sure that Warner Home Video has has supposed to be taken over by that movie before the sequel which I don't know why but oh well it's just what it is what it is All right, and now here are the two Blu-rays that I forgot to show in my Paramount collection. Which not only did I forgot to show winning for Superman Blu-ray, which I already did show y'all that in my Warner Brothers Blu-ray collection video of y'all numbered. I should have supposed to do my Paramount DVD and Blu-ray collection because... Since I thought I do not have any of those Paramount Blu-rays, but it turns out that I did, which I completely forgot to show those free Blu-rays in my Paramount DVD collection, which I should have supposed to do my Paramount DVD and Blu-ray collection in the first place. Because, because of a lot of movies that I have, and I'm guessing that's what happened, and that's why I forgot. So, yeah. Blu-ray disc, DVD disc. Hold back in. Sorry if y'all noticed that I was going quick on this right now because. I just want to get this done, and as soon as after that, I wouldn't have to do any more of my of those movie company collection videos any anymore. And of course, as y'all have been reading my community tab, then, then, then either on this weekend, on Saturday or Sunday, I will be doing my Teletubbies VHS and DVD collection, which I'm going to have to combine those VHS tapes and DVDs into one full video because of the poll that I see like for vote so yeah I don't know if I could either do it on Saturday or Sunday or not but I'm gonna have to check and see and and there will not be any promises so please if for those of you all Teletubbies fans who has been wanting to see my Teletubbies collection video please I cannot promise so Please do not request and force me to do my company collection video because I met my Teletubbies collection video because I don't know if I could be able going to do it or not, but hopefully I small have the time to do this. I know. Like I said, no promises, so please try not to rush and force me. I will do it if I have the time, either on Saturday or Sunday. So yeah. Ah.
don't know if I forgot to show one of these two Blu-rays like this or not. I'll may have to double check once as soon as after I'm done showing this. Hmm. Let me check if any more of those blue eyes that I forgot. Let me check. I think I'm pretty sure I have not forgotten, but I might as well go ahead and check right now. Let me see. Well, looks like I have completely did. Looks like it turns out I almost forgot, but as it turns out, I didn't. Well, well, I mean, yes, I did forget. Uh, it turns out that I did forget. So, here's one of the blue rays right now. This one I almost forgot. Like I said before, this is what I definitely get for not focusing and paying to the attention if any of those movies, DVDs, and blu rays I have. And, and I, for whatever it looks of it, yep, this is what I definitely get so far. And as you can see, I did tape off this Blu-ray case because it wasn't the best of shape and it doesn't need to close correctly either. So, I did tape it up. Three more blue ace to show. I have not seen this one. But I'll, I might as well have to give it a watch either when Thanksgiving, like in October, comes. And um, just in case if I forget, well, although if I didn't, like if y'all may remember in my last update video back in February, like of this year, um, I might as well um, show it. Like we just got this flap one. Well, I'm pretty sure I have forgot to show you all. But then if not, then here it is once again. And here we all go. I may have to check on my update video to see if I forget or not because I don't win number. But I'm showing it to you all right now. And here it is what it looks like if you want to go see. Both the DVD and the Blu-ray have different artworks and it's got the inside of the artwork. Alrighty then. Here's the final Blu-ray. Before I can either think about ending the video, I may have to check if any more of those Blu-rays that, that I might as well have to forget to show in this collection video. If not, then... Oh well, I can't not as well check the DVDs, but as well as the Blu-rays, but if any of y'all think, if any of the DVDs that I forgot to show in my, this rest of my VHS DVD Blu-ray collection, then like I said before, let me know down in the comments, and I might as well really appreciate that, I might as well do the video of me that I forgot to show any of these if, in any of those company collection videos. As you can see right here, this is a, the Blu-ray case says, the actual case, it says 2009 right there. But as for the Blu-ray of the sleep case, you can see right now, this is a reprint from 2010. So, yeah. This one has Sony in it, you can see. Um, oh wait, actually... 
If I haven't really said so, this is the Blu-ray right here, like which I forgot to show in my Sony DVD and Blu-ray collection. I just realized and thought like this was not from Sony, but as it turns out, it is. I didn't realize this until now. And before I can even think about ending the video, I'm going to have to double check my blu rays right now to see if any of those I forgot to show are not right now. So let me see. Another one of the blu rays I forgot. And let me check more. Nope. It looks like... And, and from what if it looks of it, I have one more blue ray to show that I completely almost forgot to show. And here it is right now. Looks like I've gotten myself that I've got to know any of my attention to myself. Alrighty then. Now that's my final, my last, but not at least, my rest of my VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray collection done. This is my final attempt of my movie company collection videos. And as a result, all of my movie company collection videos that I've just uploaded right now are all done. And including this one. And this is everything like which I've got to show you. And I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next upload. This is Mustafa's Movie Corner signing out. Or actually, before I even end, um, I actually do have another collection video either on Saturday or Sunday, which, like I said, I'll do if the time depends for sure. So, yeah. Okay, so, and I believe I've got nothing else to say, so... Alrighty then, so like now it's Mustafa's Movie Corner signing out.